year. She has toured with Michael Jackson. She wrote an iconic song for Tina Turner. And now she's celebrating 35 years of her smash hit, Tell It To My Heart. <laughs> Give it up for Taylor Day. When they said Taylor Dane is coming, I was so excited because I can remember to the day I was 20 years old when Tell It To My Heart dropped. I mean, you made me believe in love again. I don't even believe that. No. You are a are loving, you no. At How 20 you... years old, I didn't know my hair from my ass, girl. I was just like, <laughs> listening well, to the song. Well, neither did I, and I was 20 years old, you're right. <laughs> it taught us so much. I mean, I'm ever grateful. Look, 20 years, you were 20 years old, you know? Oh, what do we know? What do we know? What did we know back then? But I mean, I, I just, I love this, that Tell It To My Heart is reaching an entirely new generation. It is charting again 35 years later. <laughs> Girl! Well, that's, I did a remix. Listen, you have to stay current, you have to stay on it. We know, we know that. And I did a remix for the anniversary of the 35 year anniversary yeah. with Cash Cash. Oh, and they yes. are phenomenal DJ producers, and it is charting. It's number one at Pandora. It's like moving and moving and moving, guys. So yes. check it out. We're back in the clubs. <laughs> I love this, it takes me back so much. You know, sometimes you hear, I always I always hear uh, musicians when they write songs and they hear it for the first time on the radio. Like, was there ever a craziest place you ever heard your song? Oh my God, I, a Russian nightclub? Like, really? <laughs> a Russian club in the middle of Brighton Beach, of course. Really? Or in my little beach. When you first put out a record and you never think it's going to be global or uh -huh. international, that was Tell It To My Heart. I really? got signed, they didn't even put my picture on the cover originally. Really? You understand? Well, they didn't want anybody to know who I was, what I looked like, anything. <laughs> think about it, you know? All these barriers we break down, but when you were 20 years old, you have a dream, and I had a dream, yeah. and I was just like, get it on the radio! And when I heard it, I was in like my B210, driving to a Russian club where I worked as a background singer in a band, uh -huh. you know? And that was it, you Oh, know? man. I was like, whoa, something's changing. <laughs> Maybe somebody hears me now. Okay, and we heard you. I yes. mean, that is a song like you still. Yes, yes. Tell it to my heart. You just know, you know all the lyrics. It just is effortless. And it's now I'm I'm blessed to have such an iconic classic song as the beginning. That's the first song I ever released, and it started everything. Oh wow, it's just amazing, amazing right? right? Amazing, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's so funny, Taylor, because. You know, you were you were a bona fide pop star. Yeah, and yeah. now we have these pop stars today, like Taylor Swift. Her movie is a huge hit, so was Amazing. her tour. Huge hit. She's in a relationship with, with NFL uh, player Travis Kelsey. Smart. I mean, <laughs> hot. Hot but and every, smart. She's hot and smart, but look, everything that she does, their relationship is making the news. I mean, yes. she can't do anything, go anywhere, without her every move being, like, you know... Documented, uh, yes. Documented. That's true. Is it different? from back when you were a pop star? Uh, yes and no. When I was a pop star, Michael Jackson was the biggest pop star in the world, okay? Yes. So I was just coming in with Tell It To My Heart. So this was 1987, 88. Uh -huh. And within two months of dropping that single, it was world, it was, it was completely global in, in Europe. Okay. And it was not broken here yet. They, like I said to you, they didn't put my picture on it. Michael Jackson was our pop star. So right. let's, let's understand what that means. So go back to that time where it was the bad tour. Within three months of dropping Tell It To My Heart, they asked me to open up for Michael Jackson Ooh. in the European, Ooh. on the bad tour. Girl. So what she's experiencing is now you're watching a woman grow into herself. She's, right. a, she's an icon, you know, Taylor, Taylor Swift is a force, Taylor Dane, is me, you know? I, I'm the woman that now, you know, 30 years later, 35 years later, I can really own who I am, and, and it's yeah. a beautiful thing. And I, I think we're watching a pop star that's grown into being quite a force a force to watch. You were able to grow more privately into, you, into true. yourself, true. you know, your journey, but you gotta tell me- Well, we didn't it... have internet, we didn't have cell phones. I, didn't, uh, I had to go to every radio station to, to do, I That's didn't right. like call in, there was no dialing in. You had we had your... calling cards, remember to yes, do I interviews? Yes, calling card, girl, you yes. You sat in an airport and made calls to radio stations. You just didn't, there was no internet, there was no FaceTime, there was nothing. So you just, I just gotta know, what was, what did it feel like when they asked you to open for Michael Jackson? Scary as hell. Oh my gosh! And it was, a f it was some this stadiums, baby. Yeah, this stadium. was a stadium tour. That's Europe, where soccer, you know, it's fifty, sixty, seventy thousand people. Ooh. 
hundred, hundred thousand people. So you're you're a pop star. You got a smash hit. You're on the road. Yeah, and he told his manager, uh, Frank, please, we, we, Taylor can't open anymore. She's exhausting my audience. I'm like, I'm exhausting his audience. This is when they were hosing the audience. Remember, uh, yes. he was showing all this crazy pandemonium, and I was like, I'm exhausting nobody. This this is wild. This, this is wild. This is wild, wild, wild. And that's it. Like your journey was so wild. You've been doing everything, yeah. and you never got married. Now for you, <laughs> like so you, I didn't do everything. Did you I? didn't. You didn't do. But was like, tell me, was that intentional or? I would never say it's intentional. You know, my heart. I'm. I'm a very loving, and I would say. I never woke up and said, my God, my dream is to be a married woman. Mm -hmm. My dream is to have two children, three children. I didn't think of the family that way. Right. My goal and my drive was forced to be a pop star and to get out of my household. If you read mm -hmm. my biography, it's called Tell It To My Heart, the good, the bad, and the ugly, so to speak, you'll understand that, you know, we each have our journey, and I just feel like my... I never thought that being married was the... was really mm -hmm. going to define me. But relationships do help define you. They help you grow, and they and I've been in many relationships, and I've truly loved many times. But I have to say that the first love, you have to start with yourself. Otherwise, I promise Ooh. you, you do. Ooh. And that has evolved over so many years now for myself, and that really always comes back to here. And I'm so much more loving when I love here. When you love here, you absolutely. Are. And giving and able. I know that people give me advice. Some I like, some I don't. Now, Tina Turner gave you some dating advice. What'd she say? I don't know if it was dating advice. I think I took it as a life advice. Okay. She goes, girl, listen, Tina Turner. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the t I was the Taylor Swift. I was I was Britney Spears. I just broke, and I had amazing record success, and I was sitting next to her while she had her Pierre Jouet glass and hand painted, and Roger Davies was walking over and filling her glass. I mean, she right. was the ultimate, and she was my queen, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, she said to me, she goes, Taylor, you married? And she sounds like an auctioneer. Yeah. And I go, no, I'm, no, 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 I'm not. I was probably 24 years old. She goes, hmm, what do you think the problem is? And I go, I don't, I don't think there's a problem. I think I'm, I'm living the dream. And she goes, ah, you're Jewish, you're Italian, what are you? And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm Jewish, actually, and Italian. She goes, oh, well, that's the problem with you Jewish girls. You got no patience. <laughs> All my girlfriends are Jewish. They got no patience. <laughs> and I'm like, you're telling me that? You had more patience than I think you needed to have. Oh. And I go, I love you. Thank you for this life advice. It's I crazy. I love it. But spot on. Oh, my God. And then she recorded a song of mine and made it number one all throughout Europe and America. So I was like, I love you even more. There you go. What a relationship. You yes. have so you just have so much going on in your life. I don't even know how you have time for it all. What? But I what, you don't. You well, are you always... were on a trampoline and I said, good, Sherry, you show them how to keep up. And you know what? What what we told you is the truth. You don't stop working. Working is the essence of what we it's my seed of growth. It Absolutely. makes me overcome so many things, like my challenge with, you know, colon cancer. So it really, I said, if I don't get on that stage, it's not about work. It's not about just the ethic of work, but it's about a life force. It keeps you in your life force. It makes you want to continue to give and serve. And that's why. And that's what it is. It's staying the strongest in, thing. Staying in that life force. Yes. It is so important because I know that you and your daughter, you teamed up for the Fit for the Cure campaign. Yes. What is that? Look at your daughter. She's so beautiful. What is this campaign? This cam, it, it, it was very, um, the synergy is incredible. I, I announced, I, I was fighting colon cancer and uh, I, um, Wakol, this incredible company came to me and they said, look, we'd like you to be the spokesperson for our Fit for Cure campaign yeah. where we um, are honoring um, and starting um, in October for breast, you know, breast cancer awareness for, for women and we're giving back a certain amount of numbers with Susan G. Coleman, if you understand that foundation, and we're going to be donating funds to the Susan G. Coleman Foundation for breast cancer mm -hmm. and would you be our spokesperson? And I was just so touched and I was just coming out of this. Only a year ago I was diagnosed and within a month I was, you know, it was very sick. So three months later to actually have a story to come on shows like yeah. this with you, Sherry, and discuss that and just say, this, what a partnership. And to have my daughter, I couldn't tell her I was sick. Oh. I wouldn't, t I have twins. Yeah. And she couldn't have handled it. Mm -hmm. it, it just, she's 20. Yeah. This is when she was 19. And I have to say, like, and that's a choice. Within two months, I did tell them. And yeah. this is where we come together as a family. And, and look at you. We're stronger than ever. How I mean, y'all doing? I mean, eventually I told them. But yeah. as a mom, I had to make that choice, you know? But this campaign meant everything to her because she could there, then be there for me. You know what? You're a pop star, but you are a strong woman. You are a strong woman with a heart. Man.
I'm so thankful that you came by, Taylor. I'm such a fan of yours, Thank and you, I'm Sherry. so honored oh. that you graced us with your presence. Y'all, for more info on the Fit for the Cure campaign, go to SherryShowTV.com. Up next, from Jada to Brittany, we got the latest on what's trending. Keep it right here. Miss Taylor James.